Hey, Ant. Hey, Dan. Can you guess what time it is? Oh, it's time. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go get Debbie? Let's show it to her. I'm excited. All right, it's time, Debbie. Come on. Welcome back to Morristown, New Jersey. It's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. We're here part three. If you haven't seen part one or two, click the link right here, get up to speed. Right off the back of this house, we're creating an entire living space. And this is the focal point. This is about a 14 by 20 foot pond, three feet deep. Our pond is probably almost 95% done. They got a little bit of touch up work left to do here in the intake. This is where all the debris will be pulled into and it'll be swirling around here for easy removal with a skimmer net. Got a pump vault over here. We still have to do some plumbing, get our pump installed. We're gonna run our three inch pipe up to feed our biofalls, which is gonna be the start of our waterfall. And that's what we're doing today. We're building the waterfall. Now, I talked about this in the last video, but the biofalls here, can handle up to like 10,000 gallons an hour of flow, you know, before it starts pushing over the sides of it, maybe even a little bit more. But this pump is gonna be about eight or 8,000 gallons maybe an hour. I don't wanna shove all that water up through the filter. So in the bottom here, we've got two bulkheads. We're gonna be feeding water into here. There's going to be a rack in here with layers of filter mat, and then there's bags of bio blocks that go on top. So that's essentially our biological filter. We're flowing up through here, giving a contact time for beneficial bacteria that will live in here, and then it will start out the waterfall. I wanna go through that stuff kinda of slowly, cause I don't wanna just force it up through the filter and what ends up happening there, if we do that, it will clog or just blow right past the filter. So it'll start pushing up around the sides, which is called channeling. So if you look inside your waterfall filter and you see water rushing up around the sides, that's channeling, it's not really filtering. So we wanna avoid that. And how we're gonna solve that is I'm gonna split the plumbing into two parts. I'm gonna have a two inch pipe going into the bottom and I'm actually gonna dump a pipe on top. I'll hide that with some rock work, but that's gonna give me the flow I need to create the waterfall. Back here, somewhere in this area, I'm gonna create a manifold with two ball valves and I'll have an irrigation box over it, keeping it nice and neat. I can control the flow of how much goes to the bottom and how much goes on top. I'd like to see about half that water go up through the filter. This way we're going up through nice and easy. It's having great contact time with the filter and it's gonna do a good job of keeping this pond clean. Let's get to the fun stuff, which is placing the rocks for the waterfall. Starting down in the pond, we actually have our waterfall built that's gonna be coming in here. We need to do some more work to make it function. I've got a big empty gap here. If I didn't fill that in, water would just come right through here which would look cool, but we wouldn't get this big waterfall. So what I'm gonna have to do here is block this off with something. I still want water coming here. So I'm gonna put a rock in here that's gonna be the same height as this to take up that gap. It'll allow water to come inside here and kind of roll down sideways out in front of this one, but the majority of the water will come off of this. In order to do that, I'll probably set this rock just slightly higher than this. Giving this first priority for the water, this will be kind of secondary, so it'll be a little bit slower on this side. We need most of it going over here. And then coming back behind, I'm gonna do some layering. I wanna get a big flat stone in here, and I'm gonna kind of mirror that on this side. Creating the pool, I wanna bring that pool in and around. So we're gonna have a waterfall, maybe multiple drops coming out of there pulling around and then twisting before it spills back into the pond. I'll show you another little pro tip that we're working on right now. Uh, I gotta look my best for camera. <laughs> so sometimes when we're putting our liner in after we place a lot of our rocks on it, it can sometimes uh, create some folds here at the bottom and those folds can kind of pinch up and when you put your gravel in, it could actually pinch the liner and possibly put a hole in it. So one thing we're doing here is I cleaned off the area first where we have one of our big folds here I laid down some primer. You gotta wait for it to get real tacky so you know it's gonna stick. And then I put pe just pieces of cover tape over it that's gonna hold it down and not let that gravel get in between and possibly kind of move and shift on it and then possibly cause a hole. It's just one of those quick little things that we do to avoid any future problems. And these are the little things, right? You gotta be paying attention to when you're building, if you're building your own pond. Um, having folds stick up and then gravel kind of sandwiching those two things together can definitely be a problem area. If you're walking down the pond and you kind of pinch that at that spot, you could put a hole in the pond and not even know it. So taping that stuff down with the seam tape is definitely important. You don't want to end up with any future issues. You just want to enjoy your pond. Let's get rolling.
Our plumbing is all in feeding up to the waterfall. Here's where we're doing a manifold. Now I'm waiting on one bulb out, it's still on its way, but so I'm feeding a three inch into a T and then I'm going off into a 90 so I can split this. I'm gonna be having one of these going to the top of the bio falls, one going to the bottom. I can adjust the flow here really simply and it's gonna be underneath an irrigation box. So if I need to get to it, easy access. Right now we're just doing our prep work, getting ready to start this whole pooling area waterfall at the bio falls. I went ahead and foamed behind all the rocks. Now I also took a lot of the folds that were here, foamed them down and I've got some rocks weighing them down at this point, just letting this set up and that'll hold those folds down in place. Any place that I do like large areas of foam on top of gravel, I'll use fabric to lock it in. Makes it nice and tight and it actually sets up really super strong. It'll bind to that and it'll be a very strong area. You can see a lot of the foaming that's just done behind the rock work. That's just to seal things up so we get that water to pool up and then come over that waterfall stone. Now I've got to find something for this area to equalize the water level. I talked about this before. I want to go slightly higher than this rock when I fill this in. Now it might take two stones to do it. I'm not sure yet, I'll see what's here. Then we're gonna come in here and we'll put a large flat one in to flank either side of the waterfall then start getting our shape for our stream area. When you're building streams and waterfalls, it's always helpful to have like videos to watch or have some pictures handy because you wanna try and aim for something, replicating nature in some way. So if you've got like your favorite waterfall and stream that you always hike by, take a picture of it and maybe you can recreate it in your backyard being careful to notice how each rock found its home and how it's layered in. is water going in the pond, so you know that's good news. Colby just finished washing things down. The pond looks fantastic now that the rocks are all cleaned off. I just can't wait to see it full of water. We've been super busy on this waterfall today, and it's really looking amazing. We got that big, gigantic rock off behind here, kind of layering back from this frame rock, and now you can see it's all mossed in, and that is just gonna be spectacular. I love these low, wide waterfalls. We took that big one, used it as a frame, grabbed a nice big flat one here with like an undercut, tucked that in behind here. I expect to get just a little bit of water maybe running down this. Most of it's going to be coming off of there, and we might even get some bouncing off of here, kind of sloping back in front. We'll see how that goes. And then keeping our layering nice and low behind it was super important to make this look natural. Now you can see we've started to frame out everything around the biofalls. That'll be disappearing quite soon. And then we can finish flanking our outcroppings. So we've got to carry that rock work substantially further outside of where the waterfall is to give it some substance to make it look good and not make it have that volcano effect. Right now, if we had just left that rock there and that rock, it would just be sticking up in the middle of nowhere, kind of contrived looking and ridiculous. You can see we've already started to put one on the outside left here, and that's going to carry that slope, probably stepping down as we go out this way. And imagine with some landscape plants around it, kind of growing over stuff. In about a year's time, this will look like it's been here forever. Of course, we got Bowley and Kevin over here rocking it on this patio. So when doing these patios, the cut has to be super tight. So that takes the most time out of all this patio work. As you can see, we have that big rock over there that we're gonna cantilever over into the pond. But all these cuts are just getting scribed right to that rock work. Also setting these steps, super time consuming. We have three tiers of steps going into the double sliding doors. It's just gonna be awesome when she comes out here and enjoys her pond. Yeah, those are some tight cuts, boys. 
So I imagine this pond will fill overnight tonight, which means when you next see this thing, we should be able to plug it in. First, we gotta finish this waterfall. Let's get busy. Can you guess what time it is? Oh, it's time. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go get Debbie? Let's show it to her. I'm excited. All right, it's time, Debbie. <laughs> Come on. Come on over here. We're going to plug it in. Does it look natural enough for you? Oh, yes. <laughs> what do you think, Rooney? Oh, yeah, he loves yeah. it. You could tell he loves it. He's like, oh, it's sweet. I am so happy she loves it. This place has been completely transformed. I want to walk you through the entire project, and I'm even going to show you some night shots on the next video. Come on back, hit that subscribe button. We're here every week doing this thing. See you on the next one.